Hello, welcome to In Bed With Books, the podcast where we talk about smutty fantasy, classics, and more. My name is Melissa. And I'm Bethany. If you'd like to find more of us, you can find us on our website, inbedwithbookspod.com, YouTube for video versions of the podcast, or wherever you pod on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. If you want to see us outside of the podcast, then head over to Instagram and follow us at inbedwithbookspod. Thanks for being here. Let's jump right in. So, oh, we made it. We made it. Do I want to do lipstick? If you want to, yeah. Sorry, I forgot. No, you're good. You're good. We had to snack, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely want the lipstick. Like the Queen of Hearts. Hell yeah. Or Queen Am- Amadilla. What? From Star Wars. Is mm. her name? Amadala? Yeah. Amadilla. <laughs> Armadillo. <laughs> I was like, this is a reference I don't get. Queen Armadillo. <laughs> <laughs> We'll keep this in. <laughs> this will be my um, my blooper at the end. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Let's see if this Trader's Joe wine is any good. It's not two bucks. Two buck check. So. Hmm. Oh, that's lovely. Because it, it smells really good, too. Nice. It's nice. Um, All right. I have We're- my ginger ale, and it was either vodka or tequila. Yeah. One of the two. Those are the only two for you. Mm-hmm. It has begun. It's here. Yep. We season finale. Season four finale. Four. Mm-hmm. Holy yeah. shit. I know. It's our second year. Well, was start of our second year. Because July was our one year. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so this is like I don't know. It just feels like a if you know how after seven years you like shed all of the cells. <laughs> yeah yeah had. like I feel like, like fully we're like body. a new I think we're like a fully new podcast yeah at this point like yeah. we've just like regenerated completely yeah we are the 13th doctor yeah just kidding I want to be number 10 <laughs> yeah yeah I don't know that reference that's fair the 10th doctor is David Tennant that's my doctor I didn't watch anything after Tennant was doctor the doctor from doctor who Oh, okay. I didn't watch yeah. Doctor Who. Wow. So all of the doc, yeah, all of the Doctor Who people will know. How We're adding this to the list. You're not dumb. We're just gonna have to catch you up. Yeah. On everything pop culture. Yeah. Especially considering you just said Queen Armadillo. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm already losing. <laughs> Morty losing. <laughs> yeah, that was like less than ten minutes. We got two points docked there. Yeah. Oh my God. Um okay all right so in true season finale fashion we Mm -hmm. are going to get a little toasty a little buzzed and we're going to talk about the season and the books that we read this season and all of the characters yes but before we do that before we get fully Mm -hmm. engrossed in the substances the vodka slash tequila and wine we have a shop and if you join our Mm -hmm. newsletter then you get a nice little welcome discount Mm -hmm. a one-time 10 Mm percent 15 10 10 it's 10 um off in the shop and over the break we are going to be releasing new stuff so it might behoove you to do that soon and we don't send a lot of emails we send one a month yeah and that's it so that's fun what else do we have to what else do we have to spiel oh well Um, we just finished book club yes and we did um duel with the vampire lord yes that was fun the the most recent in the married to magic series 
Yeah, by Elise Kova. Mm -hmm. So um, I think she's coming out with another one like next year. So we'll have to do that next year Mm -hmm. when it comes out. But um, so we're now kind of like voting and trying to decide what to do next. So if you go to our Discord, you can find it on our website or on our Instagram but mm-hmm. the In Bed With Books Discord and you can um, vote there, but you can also just chat with us there. We have like a lot of different like channels and talk about books and romance. Yep. <laughs> Hell yeah, and help us choose like our next one because yes. that'll, that's probably, depending on what we end up going with, probably what we'll do through the end of the year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, also, if you check the link in our bio or use the code inbed10 at nobleobjects.com, then you can get a discount on the candles at Noble Objects, which smell amazing. Yes, so. they do. And they're yes. gorgeous. Really good for fall because you're like, oh God, beautiful getting all fall. like cozy and stuff. So yeah. 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 I think yeah, that's lots all of our spiels. Can. That's all our spiels. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well time to get down to business yes so let's go through all of the books that we have read just quick recap yes um you've got the list i have the list written very neatly under peanut butter stains <laughs> from my <laughs> snack um queen of nothing was our first read glint was our second read then we read kingdom of the wicked then The Dispossessed. Should I do authors as well? Too late. <laughs> uh, <laughs> River Enchanted. Mm. King of Battle and Blood. And then Twilight. Mm-hmm. And we were... By the authors in no particular order. Yeah. <laughs> no, we don't need to do that. No, we'll we bring it up as, as we go through the episode. If you don't know by now, no. Yeah, exactly. Um, so as we were like listing these off to... We were just like, man, this was like a good season. Like, yeah, we had. Really I mean, now that books. we've read the books, we can yeah. confirm that it was yeah. a good season. Um, because I feel like halfway through, there was a point where you were like, "I've never thought I would have to sa- sacrifice plot, but we're getting there." Like, because yeah, it was just so dry. <laughs> yeah, spice. Yeah. So, um, like, lots of slow burns, lots of really good stuff, but it was like, yeah. We weren't like we, getting a lot of like this, the smut that we were. We fully mm-hmm. underestimated how yeah. chaste some of these books were. Yeah. So not that like, like when I made that comment, it was very much that like, I was kind of ready to sacrifice yeah. the plot in order to get some sex. Yeah. So that was. Which is a big admission from you. I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um. But then it came, quite yes. literally, in King of Battle and Blood. <laughs> yes, and only in that book. Mm-hmm. A River Enchanted had a lot of, like, sex that wasn't sex. But if we're going to talk about, like, actual sex, it's King of and Battle and Blood. In terms of, like, spice. Like, A River Enchanted had closed door stuff, which we yeah. had in other books. Mm-hmm. But it's like, I didn't want closed door stuff. Yeah. I wanted to see people fuck yeah and we did so yes and so all of that sexual frustration frustration aside Mm -hmm. it was a good season Mm -hmm. i'm also snacking yeah because i don't want to like drink on an empty stomach so well i scarfed down peanut butter toast before this so Mm -hmm. i was feeling i was getting the shakes (laughs) yeah like i need to drink some water i need some protein <laughs> i get the shakes all the time dude yeah yeah i just forget to eat sometimes which is so funny because like i love to eat but some days it'll be like wow it's 3 p.m and all i had was yogurt for breakfast yeah that's why i'm shaking yeah 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 i've been doing that too i'm like oh yeah i really there was one point i was like oh all i i realized I felt really weird one day and then I had realized that all I had the day before was cookies, pasta, Mm -hmm. (laughs) and like something else carby. And then for breakfast, I had like, I didn't have any protein for like 24 hours. And so I had protein and I felt a lot better. So 
Each protein, kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So what are we going to start with? Usually we play Um, some games. Yes. Little games, little drinking games. We start as usual with Fuck, Marry, Kill. Yeah. The classic. Yeah, the classic. No rules, just... Okay. I'll go first. Yes. Meaning I will give you the names that you choose. Yes. Okay. Oh. Um, okay. Sorry. No, you're fine. Seeing all the names in one room. All right, let's start simple. Edward, Adrian, and Jack. Kill Edward. Huh. Fuck Adrian and marry Jack. Really? Really. Because I'm just a sucker for like the musician type. Yeah. I'm going to out really myself is your type. right here. Yeah. Like in real life. Like it's yeah. fun to read about Adrian and Edward in like fantasy. Like in real life, Jack <laughs> is my type. Yeah. And I just can't ignore that, unfortunately. A River Enchanted really hit us, didn't it? Oh, God. Like so hard. Such a deep place. (laughs) Yeah. Mm. Like a deep, visceral, primal place. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Do I do the same ones or do you choose? You can do the same ones. Yeah, let's do that. I want to hear your answer. Okay. Yeah. But then I'll present one to you. Oh, oh, okay. Um. What was it? Jack, Adrian, Jack, and Edward. Edward. Adrian, yeah. Ooh. Kill Jack, fuck oh. Edward, and marry Adrian. <laughs> okay. Okay. And fuck Edward just because you want to say you can, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's a virgin, so I can be a vampire. So. Yeah. Yeah. He is? Yeah, he is a virgin. How? Your question is the classic question. That's what we've been asking ourselves for uh-huh. 20 plus years. Yeah, okay. Not 20 years, but... 20, um, 20 years. Yeah, no. Yeah, um, yeah. So it's not the sex that turns her into a vampire. Spoilers. It's, Sorry. Yeah, spoilers. It's what results from the sex, and he has to turn her after that. Okay. Okay. So that's why when that's he's like, yep, that's all you're getting. Now that I know so they for do sure, have sex, though. Yeah, not to the last book, and we don't get to see it. Girl, it was written by a Mormon. I know. I don't know that she's actually had sex. I wouldn't believe it if she didn't have kids. No. okay yeah we just yeah i have to keep reminding myself that too <laughs> yeah <laughs> um fan fiction that's what 50 shades is exactly exactly that's what the fan fiction makes up is for. for it maybe we should read 50 shades on here okay we need to read that we need to read outlander so the thing is like before. 50 shade is 50 shades is like objectively a bad book right yes yeah so if we go in knowing that yeah yeah yeah, but it would be a good good thing to co- comment on. Yes. Add to the commentary the on The Twilight that Universe yeah. within the In Bed With Books universe. Because I have seen the movies and I really liked them. But yeah. I was like ashamed of like, you know, I was like, oh, I shouldn't like yeah. these. I think it's easy to be ashamed of liking them because of the sex and because it's not good. Like it it definitely like falls into that stereotype because I I don't like the stereotype of like romance movies are bad or like Hallmark yeah. movies are so terrible. But it's like, you know, sometimes I'll watch like a Hallmark movie with my mom and I'm like, actually the the acting in this movie is bad even by Hallmark movie standards. Right. And I'm like, you're you're just reproving the the, the stereotype here. Yeah. And that's kind of what I feel like Fifty Shades does. 
the movies um the it period yes okay yeah um so if we went in acknowledging that yeah it'd be cool to do that have you seen the movies i've seen parts of the movies i've seen the like the okay. top of jamie dornan's dick yeah i yeah. like him a lot and i like her oh, same like, i love she's Dakota cute. johnson she is one of those nepo babies but i'm willing to overlook it because she doesn't take shit from people yeah she was kind of instrumental in like taking down ellen degeneres mm. and i trust her because of that if that makes yeah. sense yeah um also jamie dornan in the fall you've been telling me about that i need to watch that you need to watch the fall yeah he is the murderer know that going and you find out in episode one like it's sure. they don't hide it at all yeah but like, i remember god is he a good murderer yeah i remember the first <laughs> time watching through it i was like even though they're showing you explicitly i was trying to figure out how to like explain it away and that's when mm-hmm. i was like oh i'd be a victim like it's mm-hmm. it's that like conditioning that lets people like his character get away with murder mm-hmm so good such a good okay. series mini series yeah okay sorry no that's okay because i've got one lined up for you are you ready for this okay osric torin and uh emmet um can i have all of them at once <laughs> i mean i can't i can't you can't dictate the rules of the game. i can't yeah i can't dictate what happens before or after you do one specific thing yeah it's just the order in which i do them right yeah so i mean like if you marry someone you're probably gonna fuck them again and if you fuck them it doesn't mean you only fucked them that once yeah and you don't have to just kill somebody but you do have to dictate one person for each category okay <laughs> okay all right so, so then Loophole. after Bethany has had a four-way with these three men, here's yes. what she decides. <laughs> yes. Okay. Mary Torin. No question. Okay. Like, okay. he is my love. Um, mm. um, <laughs> Osric and Emmett. I'll probably kill Emmett because I don't know him that well. That's fair. Osric seems like he knows how to get around get things done you know yeah and he's big get, like certain certain things done you know yeah yeah like he could throw me around yeah definitely That's... and Emmett could too but he's kind of a bro once you get to know him yeah he's he's probably more of a Cassian yeah you know, yeah kind of. no 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 for a second I was like Castile but no, then yeah, my yeah. brain registered Cassian yeah no yeah. he's very much like a Cassian yeah. Actually, now that I think about it, Cassian and Asriel are very much like Emmett and Jasper. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's always like archetypes, you know? Yeah. You got the like beefy broody. himbo jock style. Yeah. And then you've got the like tall, broody. skinny, broody, like stoic type. Yeah. And then you have the leader. And then the leader whose personality has to fit with the female lead. So the yes. leader's personality can change but his his posse will typically stay the same yeah yeah all all uh inspired by twilight <laughs> yeah probably no i feel like that came before yeah it was a lot of like within twilight there's a lot that pulled from so many other romance things mm-hmm. that i think she just like slapped vampires on and we were like yes yes yes, yes. give it to me yeah and now it's typical yeah um okay so my answer is honestly i'd probably kill osric mm-hmm. marry emmett and fuck Torin. and i think that's because like as the series goes on and you see emmett and rosalie's relationship a little bit more because he is like the dumb jock he's the dumb like himbo sometimes but he's also so good to her so yeah. good to her and that's yeah. beautiful to see yeah 
So, so that's my answer. Yes. Yeah. Um, what I like about Torin <laughs> yeah. is that I like the fact that he's like always knows where she is. Like there's that kind of like pos- possessive element, which we've talked about. That's more like due to intimacy, not um, territorialness. And, and there's like, it's protective rather than possessive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he, and you know that he can learn because mm-hmm. he can change. He's already shown a willingness to do yes. that. Yeah. So I just wanted to give him that before we moved on to another set. Yeah. No, that's selections. Fair. Okay. Oh, I put Amelia. Oh, oh. Wrath, Rip, and Adrian. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> All three at once. <laughs> I don't know that I could even handle that. No. That would be. Like their egos, like they wouldn't even realize that I was there like at all. <laughs> they would be so like more interested in showing up the other guys. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I gotta, talk. <laughs> I gotta rationalize this a little bit. Yeah. Which one would I want to marry? I don't think I'd want to marry Rip. Yeah. Honestly, I think I'd rather marry Wrath. Mm -hmm. Because he's not really like he's he's not trying to conquer an entire country. Like there's a lot Mm -hmm. of baggage that comes with that. A lot of responsibility too. Yeah, yeah. Like I'd be fine just ruling over our kingdom, just over wrath, like the, the sin of wrath. Like we can just do that. That's nice. And then I think I'd f- fuck Adrian and kill Rip. And currently, based on what we've just read, because Rip lied to her about who he was, mm. which also I get because he. She also did. Yeah, I mean, she also did, and like, you've got to protect yourself if you're a fae in their world. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I just yeah. can't trust them quite as much now. Yeah. So it will be nice in the next book for them to like build that trust on a better foundation, and I'm excited to see that. But based on our yeah. current reads, based on this season, yeah, I do have to kill him, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, I would kill Wrath. Okay. Just because I feel like I need to know more that I feel that way about wrath. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I would marry Rip. <laughs> really? Yeah, because I like the way that he kind of pushes her a little bit. Mm-hmm. I kind of like that because that means he cares. See, I didn't like the way that he pushed her. Yeah. Like yeah. it's not that I'm not a fan of pushing, but I didn't like the way that he did it. Yeah. So. I like I I'm specifically thinking about the time in the tent Mm -hmm. when everything's unraveling because she realized that that gal's pregnant with Mm -hmm. Midas's son and she's having this identity crisis and he's just there with her and then kind of like probing her to kind of deal with it instead Mm -hmm. of yeah I don't know I kind of liked that I remember that yeah no specifically um and then um fuck adrian yeah obvs the general consensus yes is <laughs> adrian can adrian. do no wrong <laughs> yes yeah and has done, done wrong, anything wrong i was going back and forth just because like i was trying to figure out whether or not i liked in this game the fact that adrian like prayed her back into existence uh, what's her name? Is old. Yeah, but like her her no. past life. Yeah. Um, and I decided that I liked it. So, 
Right. So yeah. Yeah. You're into it. You're like, that's hot. Yeah. And the reason I chose Wrath to marry is because of that scene when he helps her recover from Lust's Mm -hmm. like high, the like drop that she got from that. Yeah. Um yeah. Yeah. That's that like aftercare was nice. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Should we do some girls or I was gonna say let's bring some girls into this. So Fuck Mary Kill. Grima Mog. Aaron. And Bella. Oh. <laughs> um. Fuck Aaron. Okay. Because those ribbons. Okay. Mm hmm. Kill Bella. <laughs> Sorry, Bella. And probably marry Grandma Mog. She'd be a fun companion. Mm hmm. Could take on the world with her. That's what I was thinking. Like yeah. that same exact answer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. for the ribbons <laughs> not for the ribbons but just for like <laughs> like Rima Mog you could be like a power couple uh huh yeah and I just wouldn't want to fuck Bella yeah like she does she just has that energy of like a Christian girl who's trying too desperately to lose her virginity yeah and I'm like I don't want any business with that yeah none absolutely none yeah so that was my thinking. Okay. Adira. Mm-hmm. Jude. Mm-hmm. And Isolt. Okay. Power powerhouses. Yes. queens yeah literally yeah. <laughs> literally queens um i am going to marry adira mm. fuck is old and kill jude simply because i cannot trust her yeah but yeah. um I think other than the like minor identity crisis that she's going through at the end of the book, Adira has a better like sense of self than Isolde does. Mm -hmm. Um, Like Isolde now has a bunch of baggage that I just wouldn't want to deal with. Yeah. (laughs) That sounds so bad, but. Adira seems more intelligent. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, Yeah. I would agree with that. I think I would marry Adira as well. Mm-hmm. Um, fuck is old because she sounds she sounds hot. Yeah, and Jude and Jude can go to the ground. <laughs> yeah, assuming I can manage to kill Jude. Yeah, exactly. This yeah. is all in assumptions that they would let us. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so okay. Bella, Sidra, and Taryn. Oh. Oh. I mean, obviously I would marry Sidra because she's the best of the three. Yeah. But Taryn and Bella aren't, they're not like sexy to me. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks for you. <laughs> um, or maybe they are marriage material. All right. I fuck Bella and kill Taryn. Okay. How about you? 
because you really don't like turn. I know. So you're going to be surprised by what I'm about to say. Ooh. I would marry Sidra, fuck Taryn, and kill Bella. Right. Would it yeah, be like a hate yours. fuck? <laughs> no, I think like... Just kidding. I mean, it's a fair assumption given the things that I've said about Taryn. <laughs> Maybe it's just like the like distance of time at this point like mm -hmm. i know that i don't hate her enough to like not fuck her yeah yeah if that makes sense yeah that's um fair. whereas with bella my original hesitation still stands mm -hmm. which is that like unavoidable hyper christian girl energy mm -hmm. um but also with Taryn, you get the protection of the crown without always have to be having to be like the root of the issues or at the heart of the issues. Like you can yeah. just help, you know? So Taryn, if we're going to compare Taryn and Bella, Taryn is at least has some kind of conviction. Yes. Some, eventually. Yes. Bella just seems like she complained the whole time because that's all she does. Yeah. She, she doesn't know how to like take action. Yeah. When she finally starts taking She's action. She's a passive really lover. Like, <laughs> yes. When she starts like taking action, it's really just like to get like, a stir from someone else. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'll I will i um I'll go with that selection as well then. I think that was the same selection. No, I was gonna fuck Bella for some Oh, reason. you're gonna fuck Bella, yeah. For some right. reason. <laughs> <sighs> okay, I'm gonna um Boy, girl, boy, girls. Yes. Cardin. Grima Mog. And Jasper. Kill Jasper. Fuck Grima Mog. <laughs> the <and> Confederate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I will absolutely kill the kill Confederate, Confederate without state. hesitation. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, then fuck Grima Mog because... I know they say don't stick your dick in crazy, but you got to do it once to at least to learn your lesson. Yeah. And then marry Cardin. And by the time you marry Cardin, you will have learned your lesson. Yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's all about the exactly. order, folks. It's all about mm -hmm. the order. Mm -hmm. Maybe you and Cardin can kill Jasper together. <laughs> Honestly, I could that'd be probably fun? do it on my own. That'd be a fun thing to do together to kill Confederates. A little like that date seems like night. a beautiful date night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Afterward, punch a few Nazis. Yes. Yeah. Crucify some like slave that. owners. Yeah, you know. Enact okay. proper reparations. Yes. Yeah. In the name of Christ. <laughs> the way God intended. <laughs> <laughs> okay oh my turn i have to decide yes do you oh yeah to decide your things i was like you just gave me names yeah same okay. for all of those reasons listed cool and cool. in that order i'm glad we're on the same page about this about killing mm -hmm. confederates yes um okay Carlisle, Maddox, Daddies, and Grima Mog, <laughs> and Mommies. Yes, exactly. I like it. I love that Grima Mog's coming up a lot. I love her. Grima Mog's amazing. I would marry Carlisle. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was like, is that a good choice? Is he? Is he like a hot dad? The okay. hottest of dads. <sighs> yeah, he, he can, like, is the heal reason. you. He is the reason I've got this like book He's... dads obsession. Oh, really? He is <laughs> oh, the reason yeah. for the season. He is the root cause of this. He was your first book dad. He was my first book dad. Like my first book dad with like a capital D and like a nice little TM next to it. Not like, yeah. Like obviously I've had dads in books before, but this was my first book dad. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Okay. Carlisle. We'll marry that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. And then we will kill Maddox and we yes. will fuck Grima. Yep. 
Agreed. Agreed. And I feel yeah. like you don't even do, need to explain, explain. why you kill Maddox and, and fuck her. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay, one okay. more. One more, yeah. Who haven't we done? Um, let's get Torrin back in the mix. Oh, geez. Love that little guy. Torrin. <laughs> He's so small. <laughs> He's so small. Um, Torrin Jack. And I feel like we didn't do a lot of Jack, so I want to put Jack in there. That's fair. Um, oh, um, Jack, Torrin, and Wrath. Okay. All boys. It's fine. Kill Torrin. Fuck Wrath and marry Jack. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah don't hate me i know it's a hard decision <laughs> i understand it that is. was hard decision for you yeah so i will overlook it it was a very difficult decision yeah it took you only two seconds yep <laughs> yep um mary and fuck torin mm-hmm. only fuck um wrath and kill jack yeah. i don't know why because there's nothing wrong with jack he just like didn't yeah. light my fire that's fair jack or uh, torin and wrath are both like big guys and that's your that's your type that's my thing yep that's your thing yeah <laughs> my thing <laughs> It sounded so much think, bitter coming out of my mouth. Than yeah. I <laughs> well, I like the the shape your mouth made was funny. Oh, you were like, thank you. Bang. I don't know. I can't. Oh. <laughs> I um. The drink has. We've been succumbed to the drink. Yes, it's taken hold. Taken hold. Taking hold. So the next game is like tops, right? Yeah, and or bottoms. Uh, Just kidding. <laughs> that's the joke i was gonna make uh, so that's okay. why <laughs> we're doing great like it's not even that good of a joke um okay top three anythings yeah so if you present all we have to do is present like a thing and then we can choose from our lists that we have our top three people for that yes anybody from this season so top three male side characters Mm -hmm. okay i would not i would say um i wouldn't consider torin a side character because he's pretty right i would for this first book oh yeah for the the first a river enchanted yeah just because like the story starts with jack and ends with adira so I would argue that they're main characters for this first one, although okay. it's it's not like in some books we've read recently where like it's very clearly like a main character and then like supporting cast. I think it's more like just like half a step below, but that's just me personally. So you're saying Torin is a main character, no. not a side character. No, I'm saying that Torin is a side character. He's just not the kind yeah, of side character. Was, that's what I was saying. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. So Torin would probably be a side character and then um the brothers. <laughs> yes, Colin. Brothers. brothers Colin. <laughs> Osric and male side characters, right? Yes, yeah. So okay, cool. Osric and Judd. And then you could argue yeah. if you really wanted to, you could bring in any of Wrath's brothers. That's that we've true. Met. Yeah. Yeah. So that would be like greed, lust, and what was the one that he, the other one that he met? Gluttony. Or... Yes, gluttony. That was the one. Yes. Top three. Am I going first? Yes. Yes. Because you said it. Osric. Yeah. 
Emmett. And Jed. Okay. Fair. Yes. I am gonna go Carlisle. Tori. Oh, yeah. And probably Emmett. But I know more about Emmett at this point, so yeah, I it's hard for me to turn it off. That yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Top three moms. <laughs> okay. Number one, Grandma Mock. I was going to say, are we talking just moms or like mommies? Hmm. Let's do moms and then we'll do mommies. Okay. And then we'll do dads and then daddies. How many moms do we? Okay. So we've got, so I guess we don't have that many moms. So what I'll do is like in order. Or who would like be a good mom? Gotcha. Yes. Okay. Either or. Yes. I'm going to say. Esme, Sidra, Mm -hmm. and yeah, then Grimma Mog, in that order. Okay. My order, I would have the same three, but my order would be, I don't know Esme that well, so. No, it's fair, it's fair. Um, Sidra. Esme and Grandma Mog. Because Grandma Mog would be like, she's like a crazy aunt or grandma, but like yes. a mom would kind of be crazy. She, be Grandma kind of Mog is like a mom. soccer mom. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know that I want a soccer mom. Yeah. Um, And then mommies. Mommies, however, in order, is old Rosalie Amelia okay yeah 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 well you know amelia could like feed you that would be also (laughs) a mom thing (laughs) yeah it could go either way it could go either way really she'd she'd cook you some nice yeah limoncello okay um okay so hold on i I need to choose oh yeah sorry it's okay real quick um sidra because she's a mom (laughs) and a mommy (laughs) she's the whole package i just yeah. love that couple so much um is old is hot and um adira i think yes yeah love it love it okay, okay. so i'm thinking more in like pairs of two mm-hmm so I guess this is kind of mixing because we had th- talked about t- talked about like doing like a build a team. Yeah. So this is kind of mixing that is like, okay, so let's do three that you actually think would be a good team, but they can't be from the same book. Okay. Okay. Duo. Two or three, whatever. Two or three. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Should I go first? Yeah. Okay. And across both genders. Yes, that's okay. Yeah. Uh, Wrath and Cardin. Yes. Yeah. Like, they're like um, brothers from another mother, you know? Yeah. 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 Um... They both have that, like, I hate how much I love you kind of vibe. Mm-hmm. So I like that. Yeah, I like it. Um, I'm going to say Adrian and Carlisle. Because they both oh. have this, like, protective energy. 
like yeah <laughs> yeah yeah uh mm -hmm. like dad and daddy yes yes without like like there's obviously the the myths and the stories around what they are and who they've been in the past mm -hmm. but they're good people now right and they're protective of the people that they care about yeah yeah okay i think <sighs> i don't know what the category is but the answer is grima mog adira and isold okay <laughs> yeah like um adira yeah they're like a council yes yeah, something kind of like they're they're coven yeah and there's there's something kind of what's the word reckless mm -hmm. about them all yeah because I was gonna say hot mess but I don't think it's quite that they're a hot mess because they tend to have themselves together that would be like Aaron yeah yeah like Aaron's <laughs> a hot mess yeah. yeah but these three know exactly what they can do mm -hmm. and they're ready and to they do ass for it yeah. yeah exactly yeah okay I'm gonna do uh equivalent but for males okay so this will be fun okay Sorry, I have to think about this. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking, I was like, what can I pull from the guys? Because so many of them are so similar. Yeah. Because we just love that dark broody style. Okay. Okay, hear me out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Jack, Adrian, and Raph because yeah. they're they are different yeah um like and the reason why okay so jack is you know jack mm -hmm. adrian is kind of more um of a tease jack is more like sensitive and then you need like kind of a brooder and the reason yeah. why i choose wrath and not rip is because rip is almost too distant yeah Raph is like really his own man. Yeah. Whereas I feel like Raph could like get um in shenanigans with Jack and yes. you know, Adrian. He showed a very easing willingness to do that with Amelia. Yes, so, yes. So yes, I would I would concur. So that would on be that a point. fun trio. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think that'd be good. And plus that would be a good one that could be in one book without it seeming like they're all the same character. Yeah. In fact, you know? it would it would distinguish them really well. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh. Um okay. Another random but effective group. I'm gonna say Cardin, Emmett, and Adira. Oh, interesting. Yeah. That's yes. definitely a group you would hang out with, I feel like. Yes. Yeah. Like, I think it actually described my friend group in high school. Yeah. Um, Which one is you? You're like, I'm me. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, like, those three of my friends and I'm myself. Because <laughs> um, I think they do have that kind of, like, Okay, so here's the dynamic that I was imagining. Cardin comes up with the shenanigans. Emmett mm -hmm. follows through on them. And Isold makes sure that they don't die in the process. Isold or Adira? Sorry, Adira makes sure that okay. they don't die in yeah. the process. Yeah, Adira's like but she's Hermione. Like, yes, but she's also like so deep into the shenanigans too. So that's that how she ensures she has that to they like, don't. Yeah, that she has to yeah. like... Uh, she has to like fix everything yeah she has to like lie for everyone and yeah um, she's like 
Cover she's happy up. to be involved. She's happy yes. to be involved, but she's also essential to it not fucking up. Yep. yep. Okay. Okay. I think we're just past the halfway mark. So I was going to okay. say maybe we move on to memorable moments from each of the books. Yes, let's do that. Okay. Would you like to tell us the first book on our list, Bethany? Queen of Nothing, awesome. in which we get our cute YA sex scene. It's pretty memorable. That's closed door, so. Closed door, but it was like, it just continued to itch the itch. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Sorry, my nose is itchy. It is like when you have an itch or a bug bite and then you hit it on something yeah. for a second. It's like, oh, that was nice. It went away and then it comes back worse. Yeah. Yep. Okay. My nose is all red. So my memorable, memorable moment from this one is when she realizes that she has to kill Cardin. Mm-hmm. Mm. because it's the first time that like death has made her feel sick yes after all the people that she's killed it was that one that hurt her the most i like i did like the moment that she did yeah that was really Mm -hmm. satisfying for the trilogy Mm -hmm. because holly black's so good at plot that it was like such a great it was such a great climax of like the series Mm mm-hmm it's like that moment where she has that realization and then she follows through on it yeah yeah because you're like you're like she's not gonna do it but she does yeah um yeah i was just gonna bring up game of thrones again but just to say i guess i will (laughs) it couldn't stay and i couldn't yeah i couldn't keep it in um you can like kill you can have major deaths in the last act of a show and have it work and you know yeah it doesn't have to be just all for show like it was a big moment for her emotionally Mm -hmm. so yeah just you don't have to surprise everybody and it's not surprise for the sake of surprise. It's surprise it's, for the sake of growth. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's well what said. it is. That's what I meant to say. Yes. Okay. What's um, next? Glint. I already talked about like the scene in the tent. Mm-hmm. Um, I personally liked this right before the fighting scene when <laughs> when uh rip takes his shirt off <laughs> <laughs> because Is that your, your memorable moment it's my memorable moment honestly because i like i it felt very much like i think we had described it when we did the episode of like the description of it felt very like good you know, yeah. whereas like, I, f- I think we had said like, you know, sometimes you have to imagine it, but this one kind of spelled it out for you a little bit Yeah, and it was nice yeah. and we liked that. We we're into it. Um, yeah, I liked that. Mm-hmm. My memorable moment from this one, I can't remember the specific point that it was, but it's when he asks her a question and she was like, what? So you can get information on Midas? And he's like, I mm. literally do not care about Midas. I'm yeah. asking for you. I'm asking about you. I love that exchange between them. Mm-hmm. Because that was one of the first times, because like we've talked about how, like, honestly, sometimes annoying her internal monologue can be because it's just always Midas. Mm-hmm. And it like, it's painful Yeah, because she's so powerful. Yeah. But he was the first one. He was saying what we were thinking at that point, which was literally shut up about Midas. Yeah. Shut up. Like, yeah. Stop it. Yeah. I love that so yeah. much. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. 
because you because you were like please yeah shut up. yeah finally someone says something <laughs> yeah um it, and it will be interesting to see if she has those little moments next episode or next episode next um book mm-hmm. because she'll she's had this whole breakdown with him now with Midas and also the plot twist of Rip and Slade the king and everything King mm-hmm. Rot so when she starts to think those thoughts again and then she remembers what he said what Rip said is it gonna cause like it's gonna kind of be like a ping pong of pain mm-hmm. Because she's going to be like, I shouldn't be thinking like that. That's what he told me. But also fuck him for lying to me. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's going to hopefully default to her just seeking out her own opinions. Yeah. And finding so. that. And, and then we'll finally be able to breathe a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Because she'll be able to breathe a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Like, God, I need her to breathe just for it's, my own sake. Like the point, the point of from blood and ash when we start to really like poppy yeah (laughs) yeah finally um kingdom of the wicked i mean i mentioned this one earlier it was the bath yeah i I was gonna say that one too yeah the bath and then also the time when they (laughs) they almost almost fucked Yeah. yeah That and was then really she hot. Pulls away and like in true like toxic woman fashion is like, um, what's the deal with the souls? Yeah. Like in the middle of the in moment, the in the yeah. heat of the moment. Yeah. What is this very large betrayal you've laid before me? Yeah. Now that I've got you Speak. compromised. <laughs> yes. Speak. Yeah, I think those two top of the list. Yeah. Um Okay, A River Enchanted. So there's a lot of notable moments for me. Yes, same, same. Surprisingly, one that just came to mind and I hadn't even thought about this recently was when they are in the water and they have to climb onto that rock after they meet with the water spirits. Mm -hmm. And he's doesn't know how to swim so he's freaking out but she helps him get onto the rock and everything and then they're just like laying back to back but they're both like hyper aware of the other person Mm -hmm. i loved that i loved that scene so much it really reminded me of shadow and the ember yes because there's that time when she goes to like the lake or something Mm -hmm. and then they end up like finger fucking and stuff yeah and he's like but like mine is the finger fucking yeah yeah. But like this, it felt like kind of like a meet cute. Yeah. You know, um, moment. It felt like like they were both laid bare in the same way because they weren't naked in A River Enchanted. Mm-hmm. But they were in a compromised position. They were vulnerable mm-hmm. together. Yeah. 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 And they're joking, teasing. Yeah is really is really fun yeah and unique to them yeah um my old menace oh god i know that's so cute yeah love that um another memorable moment is when she proposed yes just at his window in the middle of the night that's so fucking cute i know so fucking adorable Okay, what are some of yours? Honestly, I really liked when when they um when Jack summoned the water spirits. Just mm-hmm. anytime he summoned the spirits in general. The was it the air spirits or the wind spirits? was a little more terrifying (laughs) yeah but I liked the water that I specifically remember doggy earing that page and like underlining it It some Mm -hmm. really beautiful like um prose in that chapter and it was just such a it was just such a cool experience of him like 
becoming part of it Mm -hmm. and then getting a little lost and literally if Adira wasn't there he probably would and then the fact that he like becomes weak and he has and he like hides that from Adira like I just yeah like the magic system the way it played out was really interesting to me um I like oh I love the moment when Torin and Sidra are under the tree and Torin can't talk mm-hmm and he's like, he has to like speak to her with his body and his eyes. Mm-hmm. And she understands him. Because Why? She him. Why? Because she's been fa- in love with him this whole time, even though they're like distant. Mm-hmm. And so she knows how to read him because he doesn't like share a lot. And then of course, yeah. once he gets his speech back, he's able to like tell her everything and how he feels. Which is he's just got like a running list basically yeah. by that point of like all of the ways that he wants to help her fall in love with him even though yeah. she already is yeah um because that's like another part of it is you have to give someone permission to love you mm-hmm. they can only go so far and so once you give that permission you just like open up floodgates yeah and it's like but you have control over that. And so you have to like, um, give that's like your gift to them. Yeah. Because it is like the person who wants to love you is like, you know, has to struggle with that wall. Mm -hmm. Not speaking from personal experience or anything. (laughs) (laughs) Um, but I love, that's why I just love that relationship so much because it's like people who are, in those in like loving relationships have to work on that they have to put down those walls yeah and um and then like love can only like grow right so yeah it was exciting when he was able to get his speech back and then yeah had like the running list or whatever but she then yeah anyways it was good and then (laughs) sorry hot flash (laughs) (laughs) totally unrelated to this no, totally unrelated <laughs> yeah exactly um oh and then of course the moment when Torin like smacks murray down the and just Spartan like kick straight into the chest yes sent me like yep. i wanted him to like take me out back <laughs> and like fuck me right away and, and spartan kick me <laughs> yeah 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 be like take that aggression out now <laughs> yep yep um yeah yeah yes that was a good book that was su- probably one of my favorite books honestly oh god yeah i just yeah. loved that so much okay 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 king Next of book. battle and blood i'll let you go first okay i need to cool down <laughs> you drink some water <laughs> um most memorable moment from this book mm. i think actually is when the um blood bag that he had tries to keep convincing is old that he's cheating on her still mm. And then he walks in and he's like, take her to the dungeon. Yep. That was nice. Yep. That was good. Yeah. That's what she gets. That's what she so gets. One one night in the dungeon for every day that she claimed she was in his bed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, um, I, we can go back and forth if you have more. Yeah. But I, makes me think of it. So I, really loved and have um really enjoyed any kind of dialogue that has to do with um a good good girl being bad (laughs) and he does this really fucking well because he says my favorite it's my favorite part i had to like stop reading for like a couple (laughs) of days i was like it was like when 
she was like I can't remember what they were talking about but she was like oh I'm like not that bad or whatever and and he was like someone who fucks like you is not a saint yeah and then yeah and then he like spreads her legs and then he like gets deeper and then is going steady and then he whispers in her ear sing for me sparrow (laughs) yeah and then she did and i would too (laughs) (laughs) i'll drink to that i'll drink to that (laughs) that was that was a good it just laid it out really well Mm-hmm. Um, and I think we talked about this. There's a lot of sex in this book or sex adjacent. Yeah. So it was really hard for us to kind of pin down scenes. Um, and so, I mean, I'd there be is interested. a lot of sex yes. and also there is like sex adjacent, like yes. on top of yes. that. Yes. Mm-hmm. I, I will be interested when, when we, I read this again. Yeah. Like to kind of, um, map out like the situations that led to the sex because that Mm -hmm. seems to be what happens like everything kind of leads to the sex yeah which I love so just kind of like what instances kind of led to like what would be like because I can't remember (laughs) Uh, (laughs) oh yeah I mean it's in like I think we counted what was it like 16 spots Mm -hmm. and then of that I know I would put money down on at least like 11 of those are actually sex yeah yeah like penis in vagina yeah fully yeah or or like oral yep I consider oral I a sex scene in a book you know same yeah Yeah. it's oral sex yeah okay yeah but sometimes it's just like they get hot and heavy with each other yeah without any way to like heavy petting yeah basically basically (laughs) yeah Um, and then oh yeah go ahead that guy's eye out Oh yeah, you liked that. Yeah, I did. Because he didn't out what the guy said because he didn't want to deal with everybody else like outing themselves. He wanted to give them kind of like, he's like, I couldn't really afford to lose the full counsel. Yeah. So I won't embarrass you in front of everybody, but I will carve that man's eye out. Yeah, but fuck off. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. God, I love Adrian. <laughs> same i forgot how much i love him because when she killed that guy and he was like well then he shouldn't have touched her yeah oh yeah Mm -hmm. he drinks respect women juice for breakfast yes absolutely does absolutely does yeah yes yeah um okay i have i have a couple other small scenes yes okay um because if we're going to talk about adrian which is like the best part of that book. Yes. It would be, um, oh, I'll just do the one. So it's that part when after they go off to the ledge of the tower and you're, it's starting to kind of cook up that like she's kind of try, trying to figure out like what's going on because obviously mm-hmm. she's like this reincarnation, right? Mm-hmm. And she doesn't really know yet but I think the first sign that really hit home for me and then it just like broke my fucking heart was when he like pushes her against the wall, like in the stairwell down and you think it's going to like, gonna get sexy. And he just goes and he just like, wh- like whispers in her face, like, I've missed you. I like, I miss you. Yeah. And he, you can just tell he's just like really struggling because she just doesn't know yet. And yeah, it's just she so can't, fucking like, heartbreaking. She has to remember on her own. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and yeah. I just like, I just yeah yeah I just wanted to give him a hug and maybe a little more (laughs) always more yeah always more available for Adrian yes yep and Torin and Jack yeah yeah and Wrath definitely Wrath yeah you like Wrath yeah yeah okay what's next what's next Twilight Twilight okay memorable moment (laughs) is when he saves her from the car yeah yeah Mm -hmm. because they're all like close 
face you know yeah yeah it's like when they like tumble and they're like on top of each other oh yeah yeah trying to remember a part that I liked because I listened to it so it to Mm -hmm. try extra hard There was um, kind of that info dump. They, he, they were like on the grass. Yes. Oh, that and the pasture. Yes. The yeah. Clearing. Yeah. Oh, and then the part where he care he runs with her in his arms. Yeah. I, li- I liked that part. Yes. The get on spider monkey, hop on, yeah. whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um. The parts when he smelling her. Yeah, I was just, like, I, it's I, so weird, but I love that shit. I don't know? remember if it was in the books, but I know it was in the movies. But there's the part when I think it must be the part when he smells her for the first time, like she walks into biology and like the fan hits her and she's convinced that she smells and that's why he makes the face. But, but really, he's just like trying to hold it all in yeah 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 that's like the iconic uh twilight image i can't wait to watch yeah (laughs) i can't i mean we're gonna do that in the next couple of weeks so if you want to join us for our watch party then you should join our discord where you can get all of the details and we're gonna watch twilight yeah and i've never seen it before yep it's gonna be it's lit it's gonna be fun lit yes so lit yeah, that was good. Because I liked, there's that point too when she's in the hospital and the heart monitor keeps going off because her heart yep. like goes fast when he's like near. Yep. And then when and she's all embarrassed like... about it and then he's like, but I loved that he was like, why are you embarrassed? Like, I kind of liked yeah. that. Same. Like, I like anything that gives the girl like permission to like want it and like to like not be like ashamed of it you know I like that yeah no I, I get you I um I also always assumed and so it, it just occurred to me that it might have just been a romantic comment basically but like that he was saying that it didn't matter because he could hear her heart all the time yeah but it makes a little bit more sense that it was like two part where it's like, oh, like also don't feel shame for your desire. Yeah, so. that's probably. Yeah. Well, like, cause she was like embarrassed. Yeah. Yeah. And then like, he was assuring her that it doesn't matter anyways, because yeah. but I think she was worried that like someone else would hear it or whatever. Yeah. Which is also still like, don't feel shame for your desires. Yeah. Cause yeah. he, cause I think at one point he like laughs, he, he does the laugh. Mm-hmm. and then the shiver down her spine and Robert Heart Pattinson myself. really does yeah. I cannot wait I yes. literally cannot wait <laughs> yeah um yeah like there's no sex so but there's sex kind of thing yeah. yeah yeah I love that you've converted me I'm happy I'm so glad I could bring Team you twilight. Into, into the twilight zone yep the twilight zone <laughs> okay <sighs> Okay, sorry, yawn. Totally more related to the fact that we've been talking for an hour, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. not that I'm actually tired. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm one of those that like I half cry when I yawn, so I'm trying to like blink away the tears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Is there anything else that we no. wanted to do? <laughs> it's like, I was going to be like, all right, next book. What's the next book? Yeah. Um, that was I it. know that this was is it. This is the end of yeah. the season. Of the season. Oh my God. About mid-November, we will be back with season five. Yes. Um, so it's a little over a month away. Yeah. Um, do we, we want to get... Spiels? Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, but no, go ahead. I was... Um, do we want to give any hints about what we're reading? No, because I can't remember. But if I remember, is is, is it something we yeah, want to I mean, give away? We're going to continue of? the series that we've been right. 
reading. Plus, there's three new releases oh, next fuck season. Yeah, they're so. Yes. Oh, we have such a good lineup next yes. season. I'm so yes. excited. If Do you, you remember? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> um, if you remember anything that we've read recently, or if you see anything that we've read recently that you know has a new book coming out in November or December, we are reading it. Yep. So, hint: King of Battle and Blood. Mm-hmm. That's oh, not a hint. Enchanted. <laughs> no, I'm saying those are the series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, a light in the flame, which I am oh, very yes. excited about. She's been posting like snippets from chapters. Uh-huh. Oh, I, I need, I need some uh-huh. Nyctos in my life. Yes, yes, I need some Nyctos. I need all of the sex scenes. Mm-hmm. All of the sex scenes. Because Jennifer um, knows how to do it. Oh, she knows. She knows. I, I trust her with my soul. I trust her so much. More than I should trust somebody that I'd never met before. Um, <laughs> and then we're going to be rounding out on some of the already released things. So we've got uh, the next one in the Plate of Prisoners. We've got the next in Kingdom of the Wicked. Mm-hmm. I believe we're going to be reading Twilight on here next season. We might do it as a book club. Yeah. I'm listening to to New Moon now and I'm already upset. Yeah. Yep. That is how early it happens in the book. I'm sorry. We kind of warned you, half assed warned you. I know. Um, This is going to be one of our book club boats. So a few books we're going to be incorporating to the book club. And so if that one doesn't make the vote for book club then we will be reading it next season right okay yeah yes um and then our classic next season will be passing yes by what's her name oh i don't shoot. know her name hold on nella larson yes nella larson yep um i'm excited for that one me too i love that book um we could honestly probably do quicksand and passing because that's usually how it's done in schools, but it's up to you. Totally up to you. Okay. Um, also, we're starting the hollows. Yes. Yes. I'm you excited. get to meet Rachel Morgan and Jenks. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Everyone does. Yeah. Whether you like it or not, you're going to listen to it and you're going to learn. Yes. And you're going <laughs> to learn the good word. Fall <laughs> honestly yeah 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 so and um i know i mentioned the other books but it's the the releases next season are queen of myth and monsters Mm -hmm. light in the flame and then there's one other what is it fire endless a fire endless which is the duology to river enchanted yeah so here we go Yes. winter winter reads yes so join reads. us next season middle of november we're probably going to kick it off with new moon or something like that yeah kind of continue the twilight craze but over the break we are going to be all over instagram and discord yeah so check us out there i think we have some we can't new keep merch. our hands off our phones no we can't so. dude i am such a discord bitch i love it yeah. i'm like on there all the time and I know we have some new merch releasing. We have yes. like some really, we're really fun. <laughs> we're really fun. Come join <laughs> us. <laughs> I'm convinced. <laughs> Trust me on this. Yeah. We're, I mean, we're throwing a few things together over the next few weeks that we're yeah. hoping you guys like. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Good season mm-hmm. until next season. Happy reading. Happy reading. Bye. Bye.